In the late 1700s and early 1800s, U.S. states could hold presidential votes during a 34-day period, which turned out to be quite problematic. Policymakers soon realized that states that held voting early in the 34-day period could sway public opinion and influence the outcome of the vote in the states that held their federal elections later. Their solution was to unify the nation's election process by selecting a specific day when everybody votes. In 1845, Congress passed a law designating the first Tuesday after the first Monday in November as Election Day, a date that remains in place today. But what brought Congress to this conclusion? Much of America was farmland in the 19th century, and life revolved around strict routines of planting, harvesting, and selling crops. Wednesdays, commonly seen as market days for farmers, were quickly ruled out. Sundays were reserved for going to church, so that wasn't a good option either. Because many people lived far away from polling stations, Congress also wanted to give voters time to travel to voting booths. Tuesday became the obvious contender, allowing enough time to travel after church without affecting the main business day. Farmers also influenced the choice of election month, as spring and summer traditionally mark planting season, while late summer and early fall were filled with harvests. So, it made sense to hold elections in November, when harvests were usually finished, but the coldest weather had yet to arrive. Nowadays, most countries around the world hold elections on Sundays, but America remains committed to its election day tradition. Some have called for making it easier for the modern day American workforce, which typically works Monday through Friday, to vote, including making election day a federal holiday. Even though farming and ranch families now make up only 2% of the American population, the tradition of holding U.S. elections on the first Tuesday after the first Monday in November has stood the test of time.